still feeling like you're driving a BMW even though it's an electric car and that's a good thing the steering I don't even need to tell you this M steering wheel with this fat grip it's crazy nice hello guys and welcome back to a new video today I have with me the new BMW iX1 full electric SUV from BMW and today we will make the test drive I will drive the car and I will give you my feedback on how it's on the road I have to say that I will have a full review video with the same car a separate video if you want to see the full review interior exterior technical data material quality space everything about the car check out the full review because in this video we will just drive it first of all this is the key super super nice key I'm super happy that BMW bring on this iX1 this new key that it use also on a super super expensive car like i7 for example and by the way if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Auto Fekir in Bern I will leave the link in the description if you want to check out the car test drive the car buy the car check them out guys super super nice uh, people here optional on this car we have 19 inch rims usually it comes with 17 but on this model we have these M rims that look super nice ventilated brake this on the rear ventilated brake this on the front something surprisingly on an electric car in comparison with what Volkswagen Group do now going inside here the quality it's just phenomenal the quality inside the car i was super surprised to see that bmw bring the top of the top quality on the car in comparison with for example volkswagen group with id cars where everything it's kind of basic there but also the price it's a little bit better now aluminium pedals leather seats let me go inside i don't want to bother the other traffic participants here i will leave the key down here plenty of storage space here but more about that check out the review video i don't want to lose too much time i will put the seat belt we have electric adjustable seats very good visibility in the mirrors very good visibility outside on the window because here it's a little bit taller they kind of designed the window kind of straight out it's not so lean so good visibility even though they do that still the drag coefficiency it's 0 0.26 and it's very good for an suv anyway press the brake start system it's here button I love this insole here, I should say Iceland here in the middle uh, where you have all the controllers for changing the uh, different position of the gear I should say also we have the buttons, physical buttons for uh, camera the car come with 360 degrees camera from here my modes you can change the different driving mode we have personal sport, efficient mode, expressive relax and digital art I will explain all those uh, in the review video we will drive in efficient, efficient mean eco mode also you can customize this digital screen is the new digital screen from bmw you can choose wherever you want to have in the front even the map even all kind of information but about that also check out the full review because there i go a little bit more in details about all the functions and information the car come with a head-up display directly on the windshield and it looks splendid the head-up display is directly on the windshield it looks really good it's positioned it perfectly i don't know if you can see it on the camera but it's really good also very good it's also the camera here the visibility is just is perfect i mean not only the quality everywhere feels super super stable and good quality and it looks nice and looks futuristic finally BMW bring something from the future in the in their cars manual adjustable steering wheel up down forward backward and we have a boost uh, pedal here behind the steering wheel and I will show you how it works now let's drive let's go in drive mode we have drive mode D and B mode B mode mean that for example now we drive forward and then when you release the acceleration the car will regenerate and this regenerative brake it's crazy powerful look at this accelerate release the acceleration and look how powerful it is it's go to a completely stop and also activate auto hold because we have auto hold i love that not many electric cars have this feature and it's just incredible incredible useful also by the way the car come with a lot of safety features turning circle 11.8 meters and I can feel that it's quite agile and you can turn it in small spaces without any problem and this is very very good now let's drive forward very light also the steering wheel in efficient mode even though they kind of still hold a little bit of 
that um, feeling, you know, it still have that feeling of BMW of sporty car and the, the direction and the steering feeling to the wheels and to the road. It's very, very good. It's, it's still feeling like you're driving a BMW even though it's an electric car and that's a good thing. The steering, I don't even need to tell you, this M steering wheel with this fat grip, it's crazy nice. Now, let's go right here. Perfect visibility. It's very agile. The pedals feel smooth and very important inside the cabin i drive the car before i have a few test drive on my channel already with the car it's crazy silent you barely hear something from outside in comparison with my tesla model 3 this car feel in feel like an s class and it's it's we have independent suspension on the front and multi-link independent on the rear incredible incredible suspensions crazy silent and it goes to a stop if you want if you don't want to use this regenerative brake you just go in d mode and that means you accelerate you release and then the car will kind of roll you know and this is also a good feature if you want to use it but very responsive incredible incredible um, smooth everything it's so good quality i feel like i'm it's not big difference between driving this ix1 and i7 bmw i7 that it's it's double the price and big and and incredible i mean i love the fact that bmw bring the same premium quality in the driving feeling of this and it don't doesn't make any difference between uh the, the other classes and this one and this is fabulous the windshield is fabulous as i said 0 0.26 drag coefficiency the car can do 0 to 100 in 5.6 seconds we will try the acceleration as well it's limited to 180 km per hour it's doing great also in those roundabouts let's go a little bit in more dynamic mode let's try sport mode going in sport mode immediately you feel like the acceleration is more responsive and you have a new graphic with the red and also you can see a new design there in the front I don't know if you can see it but it looks fabulous and also we have this sound special made for electric cars you hear that it's just crazy the sound it kind of simulate the sound of an internal combustion engine car and it gives you that nerve you know like when you hear that sound you feel powerful and it feels good and even though you do 0 to 100 in 5.6 seconds Oh boy, it's pretty fast and you feel immediately feel that torque push you back in the seat Oh my god, you really feel that at least when you start accelerating from 20 kilometers to, to higher Very very interesting. I, I really like the car. I have to tell you I'm, I'm super impressed also by the way the car come with a 360 degrees camera and I will show you I will park the car and I will show you this feature as well um, also on the screen you can see uh, a lot of graphics the only thing that I wish although that BMW hold in the car is that controller for the multimedia system they didn't hold it here on this iX1 so you can control the multimedia system from the center console you still have to go this time in the menu right here and if you want to change the menu you have to go in the menu but other than that you can see so many information there um, about the car about the vehicle and if I'm not wrong you can also see a graphic I'm not sure where you can go to see that I think here anyway adaptive content anyway it's 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 really really nice to be here it's quite silent and the seats are fabulous those seats comfort I mean it's just crazy the grip on the steering wheel the visibility here on the head-up display everything it's top I can't complain about anything the only thing I can complain about this car guess what it is the range around 440 kilometer VLTP in real probably around 350 kilometers here I wish Odo to have a little bit more how can I say a little bit more range man I mean 
you have a lot of space for the battery it has a 68 kilowatt hour battery net uh, gross capacity net capacity it's 64.7 i don't know what was the idea of installing a smaller battery probably they still want to keep the consumption lower because they claim around 18.7 20 kilowatt hour consumption and probably they want to still leave it agile because look in the curves it feels super good it feels light that's that's surprisingly oh look at this for an electric car it feels incredible light and this is a good thing this is a really really good thing and also when it's lighter you have a lighter battery the consumption is lower so probably um, they take into consideration the consumption when they when they make this choice uh, but still I wish although to have around 500 kilometer VLTP at least on this uh, model now um, other than that the driving feeling it's fabulous this sound it's also fabulous and I want to show you one more thing that it's fabulous the new autopilot from BMW and I tested before on other model as well so you can set it up for example 63 here the speed like now 64 you can see also on the head-up display but you can see also on the screen here and even though here are working on the road and we have these construction sites and these new lanes with orange the car is still doing just fabulous and it stays between the lanes perfect I test that before on BMW and let's see here it comes also with blind spot technology you see even though we have new lanes the car can read those uh, orange lanes better than the white one so it doesn't is not um, confusing you know like the lanes between so this is this is fabulous also you can higher the speed from here and then the car will go to the speed and it stays so good between the lanes man it's so smooth I feel like I'm driving um, a Tesla look the autopilot it's fabulous it warn you from time to time to have your hand on the steering wheel but still keep in mind really really good uh, autopilot now I want to go on the right lane and then we will go out and we will try an acceleration you can see the blind spot technology warned me it's a car there and you can activate it so easy those buttons here are so simple to use and look at this you just activate it by pressing up and it's it's activated and you can see whatever happened on the screen it's working really really good so the autopilot on the BMW the new one it's crazy good that's something to keep in mind also it has a lot of camera I think it has two cameras up here uh, the car can read also the traffic speed limit lane assist all that safety features you have it on the car now I deactivate this we will go out here uh, also the car it's not super sporty in terms of handlings and curves uh, but it's a perfect setup between comfort and sportiness and for me personally that I like more comfort and sportiness but sometimes I want to have a sporty car I think it's the perfect setup now you have also the climatic system here by the way you can turn it on just like that super simple you can change also the temperature from here you can do it relatively fast I know some people can complain about that a little bit but also it's very simple very easy to do that now as I promise you we will try an acceleration here so if we stop to zero and lovely right you hear that sound you know when it's picking up the power it push you back in the seat a little bit but after you reach 70 70 km per hour then it's it's going slowly uh, up or it's building slowly power but anyway keep in mind that we, we were kind of accelerate uphill but still still it feels powerful and it has a nice touch to it uh, of sportiness and yeah as I said quite light you can see we are in sport mode and the steering it's quite quite light not like we expect for a sporty car uh, but at low speed it's, it's doing gorgeous anyway uh, I love the acceleration I think it's more than enough 
5.6 seconds this power it's more 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 than than you need daily in wherever country you are living um, if you want to change the driving mode you just go down here you just go in efficient mode for example and right now everything it's much more smoother even the steering it's much more lighter right now in in terms of sound insulation it's it's damn good i mean we drive almost 100 now and you barely hear noise from outside very good job they did a fabulous job also here we can activate one more time this autopilot and you can see that the car uh, stay between the lanes it shows you also nice graphic let's see if you can read the traffic speed limit and it can go automatic usually BMW can go automatically to to 50 or you can do it manually from here actually I did it manually from here and let's see if this is a really hard curve here and yeah you see it has a little bit of problem here as even my car has a problem here my Tesla uh, so on these twisty roads you have to pay attention always always have your hand on the steering wheel no matter what car you're driving never trust those autopilots but in general um, this BMW iX1 it's crazy good I, I really really like it I think they make a fabulous job here you can set it up again and it stays between the lanes it's it's crazy comfortable I love also those seats the seats hold you perfectly and also the the quality it's it's incredible good and here it's a hard curve and it stays wow the side support on the seats are super super good it holds you just perfectly there Let's go back to sport. Also, the car come with this new multimedia system that I will present you in the other video. And you can see there more information about it. Very, very good um, multimedia system. This new one, finally BMW bring the future here. I mean, the design of the dashboard with the multimedia, everything, it's, it's top notch. They make a big step forward from the previous versions a few years ago lovely visibility this is so big this wind uh, windscreen here it's crazy big and the visibility around the car it's 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 very good over the bumps perfect as I said independent suspension multi-link independent on the rear over the bumps is doing just fabulous good over the potholes barely 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 feel it let me go right here and we will try to park the car and I will show you how easy it is to park it even on the small streets like that you can park you can drive without any problem the steering wheel it's light and easy it's crazy good let's see let, let me show you here also the camera if you go in reverse it's damn simple press the brake going in reverse from here you have 360 degrees camera and and the resolution of the cameras are crazy good look at this you can see the map up the ground you can see also the lines the reverse and if that was not enough guys you can also change this panoramic view to a 3d view where you can see perfectly what it's around the car just like that oh boy perfect right lovely and then you just press the parking and then it automatically go in park and also activate the handbrakes so that was the test drive I hope I cover everything here I hope I didn't miss something uh, also if you want to see the full review 
um, I will have a separate video with the same car, interior, exterior, technical data, material quality, everything, space, multimedia, everything about the car, check out on the channel next days if the video is not already on the channel. Click the subscribe button to see notification when that video will come out. Also, if you want to see the car, test drive the car, buy the car, you are in Switzerland, check out Auto Fakir in Bern. I will leave the link in the description. They are super nice and they will help you with whatever question you have. Anyway, that was all. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos. Uh, also, I see you in the next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye. Thank you.